security is being breached. And it's our security that's being breached by those that it is to supposedly protect us. We give them that for power. Let's take it away. This episode of Cop Block is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Uh, I work in the Middle East. I'm a chief engineer in a container ship in Merce, California. We're, we're the only American ship uh, to stay in the Persian Gulf. But just for me to go to work, to fly from my home state of New Hampshire, I have to go to security, whether it be in Boston at uh, Logan Airport or if I go through Manchester here locally. I have to go through screening. I have to have a passport that's viable. I have to have a merchant mariner document issued by the United States government. I have to pass security, a pat down. My bags have have to be searched, and I can't carry anything that I would usually use on a ship, uh, tools of my trade, being an engineer. Uh, and then when I land in Detroit, I have to go through security again one more time. I have to go through, uh, whether it's a passport showing or an ID or a federal ID, because they won't, they won't take my, my, my gun permit here in New Hampshire that doesn't have a picture of my face. It has to be a federally uh, implemented device of identification. Then when I fly to Amsterdam and route to my final destination to Dubai, Amsterdam, I have to go through three security checks. One is going to be customs. One is going to be regular security. I'm going to go through a body scan, which I usually ask for the pat down because it's a uh, more violation of me. But if, if listen, if a guy wants to pat me down, I'll sit there and I'll pat him all in. I go commando, feel all you want. I land in Dubai. I have to go through uh, another body scan, my bags to be researched again. Then I have to go through customs to make sure I have a permit to come into work on a short visa, 72 hour visa, for a seaman, Richard Mariner. And then the coup de grace, like I said before, I have to do a retina scan and fingerprints every time I go there. I've been there since 1993. We used to fly not even have to show ID. We you get a rental car and drive through town. Now you can't unless you have a, a license over there in the United States. That's just at the airport. Now, once I get my bags, I got to go through my bags being x rayed again and another security checkpoint. So we think we have it bad here now. I'm just trying to go to work to pay for the people that don't want to work, to have my family have nice things and food on my table and have freedom here in New Hampshire. That's why I chose New Hampshire many years ago. Now, to get to the ship, not only do I have to have my United States passport, I have to have my merchant mariner document, which looks just like a passport with a smart chip. Oh, yes, I'm going to tell you about the smart chip. Yeah, everything has a smart chip now, whether it's a merchant mariner document, a passport, uh, any kind of form of ID. Yes, it's there. So now I get to the port of Jebel Ali, where the ship is coming into retina scan number two. Tags x-ray. ID shown. Fingerprints. It's digital. You don't get you don't get the uh, you don't you don't get the, uh, the the pain or the ink on your fingers anymore. They have biometrics that you just put your finger on. My question is, what's next? Blood samples. And they already know who I am. The retina scan shows that. But they used to only do one retina scan. Now it's two. What's next? Full cavity search? This is just to go to work. So ladies and gentlemen, Big Brother is watching. They're here to take away your freedoms, your liberties. This is your sovereign nation. And we're being violated every day. Look on the highway. So many cameras you see going down the highway. Look at our schools, our children are being watched, they're being mic'd. Easy Pass, another tracking device. Drones, look what they're doing to toll booths. In any one of our states here in the Republic, when did it get to a point where they tell me that I can't go to work? Or I'm not allowed to go to a different country. Do what you can to make a difference. Uh, and then never forget to say thank you to people around you. Say you love your family because you never know tomorrow could be the last day on earth. Stand up, be counted, get active. We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.